Hey guys, what's going on, Matt here, and welcome back to the Black Ops 3 Mod Tools tutorial series. So, this video is a little bit different because I'm going over how to uh, actually fix some uh, some duplicate um, issues uh, in your launcher. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is I'm going to be um, kind of starting um, some tutorials on adding sort of custom content, so you know, weapons and things like that into your map. Now, I fully expect some people will get some um, some issues when it comes to actually having the content in the map. Uh, for example here, um, I've of course set this up specifically so it actually does give me a, an error. Uh, but um, it is something that's fairly common um, if you were downloading, you know, assets from other people. Um, I thought it'd be quite useful just to show you guys how, you know, how I sort of tackle it. Um, and for the most part, um, it's what I've done for quite a while. So if you do open up your launcher, um, after adding in some content and you get um, any errors like this uh, typically it's like error duplicate and then it's like you know the name of whatever it is um, don't worry um, all that really is is because we have literally duplicate data um, for that item so in this case um, we have um, a weapon which um, I've obviously made a duplicate of it um, just so we have this but in this case we have this weapon and it has uh, in this case we've got a two different ones we've got a bullet weapon and an image and each of these have two instances but because black ops 3 does not allow us to have two instances um it's throwing, throwing us an error so we can pretty much fix it and um, so we do only have the one instance so the, the way we fix this and of course you know you might have lots of these potentially depending on what you're installing is all you gotta do is open up your launcher of course um up at the top here you'll have this asset editor and um, this is called APE, so A-P-E. Um, and once you've got it open, it might take a few clicks. It can be a little bit buggy sometimes, but you're going to have this. Um, it looks quite intimidating at first, but it's actually quite simple. Um, all you're going to do is you go down here and you're going to see in this console output, um, we'll start off with this top one. So you can see we have duplicate bullet weapon. Uh, we have two of them because that is, of course, you know, each instance of it. And you can see we have asset and then we have the asset name um, and it said you know found in and then obviously you know the uh, the gdt location that this uh this instance of it um, is stored in so all i'm going to do is i'm going to just grab the asset name just double clicking on that and i'm just going to copy that nice and easy next thing i'm going to do is go over into ape and i'm going to go down to where it says name i'm just going to check that box and paste in yeah there we go uh i thought, I, thought I misclicked there and now I've pasted that in, you can see it's basically filtering um, all of our GDTs based on this. I say in this case, I've completely manufactured it just to do this because I don't have any duplicates at the moment. So it's just for the case of this video, I've, uh, I've copied uh, two instances of, uh, of Sky's uh, weapon. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up these two. Um, you very well may not need to open it. They might already be open, but whatever. Um, and you can see it's searching based on this and you can see we have two instances here so we have the magnum here in this gdt so each i guess collapsible bit um is the gdt and in here you see we have the this weapon and in the one above it we also have another instance of that weapon uh of course we can only have one of these so all i'm going to do really simple is choose one of them. Um, I typically choose the one that has the least amount of other stuff in there. Um, all you gotta do is right click and click on delete. Easy as that. Next what we're gonna do is go over to the next one. So you see now we've got a duplicate image. So we're gonna grab the name of it, copy that. And we're gonna put that into name, just as we had done. Now you can see we have these two. So it filters this a little bit better, I guess just because there's nothing else that really matches this name. It's a lot more specific, so it's a bit easier to see exactly which one it is. And all we're going to do again is uh, find which one we want to delete. I'm just going to be deleting this one because this is the one, obviously, you know, I've purposely duplicated. Uh, I'm just going to right click and click delete. Simple as that. Next, all I need to do is click save up at the top here, save all. Uh, once I save all, I can then just close down that tab. Uh, I can close down APE minimize that that was prepped for a, a future video and now all i need to do now is close down my launcher like so 
and then I'm going to go over to Steam. I'm going to click launch on my mod tools, it's just on my other screen. It's going to open back up and now you can see all of the, the duplicates have now been sorted because we've just deleted the duplicate instances of them. And we do still have them, but there's only one instance of them now. Um, if you do, of course, have any other errors in here about duplicates, just go back into um, back into Ape, um, and of course, you know, sort of handle them um, individually. Um, you might get a couple of them. You, you might not get many of them. It really depends on what you've installed, I guess. But it's it's as easy as that, guys. All you need to do is go in there, delete the duplicate, save it, relaunch your launcher so it can sort of rerun everything, and then once you've done that you find to continue doing whatever you're doing. So yeah, any questions, of course, leave them in the comment section below, but hopefully this has helped and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.